Hey everybody, today we're going to look at Dynamo and Convex Holes. Um, I think these are really interesting. Uh, there's a couple notes we're going to look at. We're going to look at how to do them in 2D and then one in 3D. Uh, but before we get into anything, uh, I want to show you guys kind of what they are, are trying to do. Now, I'm going to have below two videos that talk about one that talks about the algorithms. It's a really good resource I found, and another one that talks about like how to do it with code. Uh, so check those out if you want to learn more. Those will be in the description below. Uh, but because I'm just not going to do a good job explaining the mathematics. Um, so if you want to learn more about that, check those out. But essentially, uh, what it does is you can see we've got a bunch of random points here, and what it does is it tries to figure out the um, out the furthest. Um, points are all the exterior outside points. Um, so, so, so if we start with this point down here, we can move. Um, that's not straight at all. We can move uh, to the next points, and then up here, up here. And I'm really bad at drawing with this. And then down here. And then we have all those inside points. But that's what it does, pretty much. We grab all those outside points, and we. Uh, we then can draw uh, lines connecting each point or create a poly curve around the points. But this um, this problem can be solved in, in different ways. Um, so I definitely recommend checking out that video below uh, just to, to learn more about it. Uh, but that's pretty much what it's trying to do. And so with this spring nodes... And also one other thing, um, this came about because of Solomon Moore's post. So if you want to read 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 this, uh, that'll be in the description. Um, you know, after I saw that post, I was like, oh, cool. You know, maybe we can use it and see what else we can do with it. So convex holes are within computational geometry, and that's like a field in computer science that looks at solving uh, issues or problems, um, geometric problems. It's something you know something you could use this for is like image recognition um, I haven't found many use cases for like the AEC industry so I would love to hear if you guys have any uh, definitely drop those in the description below so if we start off with this first uh, node here this one from spring nodes uh, if we take in our points in the X and Y axis so a bunch of random points um, we can just pass that into here, and what it does is it figures out all those outside points, like I showed you in um, uh, in the paint tool. And so you can see highlighted in blue as well, all those outside points. And then what we can do is pass that into our poly curve by points. And then now we have a, a big poly curve going around it, and then we can create a surface from that. And then um, if we wanted to, we could extrude that surface. You know, from there we could create a floor or maybe bring that into a family or whatever and um, and, and use it in, in different ways. But I'm not, um, I'm not so sure of how often I would use this node, but I think it's handy knowing it's available. So the other thing um, I want to show you guys is the 3D one, and this is out of the box. So this uh, node here is out of the box, and we can pass in uh, points in the in, in all three dimensions. And so if we take, real quick before I show you that, I'll just show you our points. So we can see these are all random all over the place. And again, it's going to work in the same way, except for in three dimensions, it's going to try to grab all those outside points. So if we pass that in there, you'll see that it returns a list of lines. Uh, and then those lines, we can, you know, grab all the points from those lines if we just wanted the points um and that's all that that node does now i'm not entirely sure of the use case for that uh but it i thought for fun it would be interesting to see if i could grab all the 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 lines that are um triangles and then create surfaces from them so i take these lines i can pass them into this uh, python script here and what it's going to do is loop through all these lines and points and figure out which ones are connected. Uh, this is a list of lists of lists because it, it exports out other lists. But the only one I care about is this one in the first index. 
and that contains a list of lines and each of those lines are connected to or or those lines are a group of lines that that uh, form a triangle which then we can create a surface from so this script here uh, you're welcome to download this this script and mess around with any of this um, after that it's you know it's totally your script at some point later down the line I'm going to update this Python script to more effectively loop through these uh, lines because uh, it doesn't work or I think it could be more uh, efficient but anyways if you want to download this check this out feel free to do so and let me know if you have any questions but pretty much all it does is it loops through each of these lines and it finds this line and tries to find the other lines that are connected to it. And then when it does that, it creates an ID for that group of lines so that those groups don't get recreated again. Um, but it loops through every single line to try to figure out the comp all the combinations of, of, of um, groups. And then from there, we can take that list of uh, line groups and then we can pass it in to our polycurve dot by join groups and then this just cleans up if there's any like issues or any nulls and then we can do surface by patch and we end up having just this rock looking form um, and then over here this just joins it into a poly surface so I, again i'm not entirely sure of the use case for this but it is interesting and you're totally welcome to download this script and mess around with it and do whatever you want with it um and it, again in the future i'm gonna hopefully get back into that python script and change it up a little bit but if you do use this script i'd love to know if it's like if you're finding anything useful out of it or if you're using it on a project, if you've, you're able to tweak it to, to leverage it somehow, you know, that would be um, pretty awesome. So anyways, um, thanks a lot for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.